what's up guys this is the broful man and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire total war let's play as Benis and to pick up where we left off last time uh we've managed to make some progress up against uh prussia in the east and we've also uh having to kind of deal with sweden um <laughs> crossing our borders um uh, but not actually being able, not being able to actually um attack them because for some reason they are considered as being in um Signore. In Russian territory. Um, oh well, win some, you lose some. But our troops are positioned ready to attack Moscow when it eventually falls to Sweden. But apart from that, we the focus is still on Prussia. So let's hit and turn and then let things push on. Our uh, religious agents are advancing towards their next targets. More troops are, be, are uh, <laughs> being recruited to our forces near Warsaw. Uh, at some point, the Gdansk force can be sent to attack other targets uh, once they show themselves but i don't really want to leave the frontier near russia undefended C could be uh, exploited by our adversaries pressure's spending a lot of time scampering troops around i'm not overly worried about that yet still uh, i see poland's gonna go help out russia that Okay, where is the logic in any of this? Why are you attacking me? I'm the one person you share a border with that, I, that isn't attacking you. Fine. Call our allies in. Call the banners. They all join me. Russia loses all of theirs. You idiot. So, it looks like we can actually attack those Swedish troops now. Um, because we are going to want to clear out the area... From these Swedish from these Swedish troops, we're not going to want them um, in a position to run around the rear and screw around with us once we take the city. So we're not going to attack Moscow as a priority. We're going to advance up to it slowly and methodically, making sure that we just clear out clear out all the potential Swedish miscreants while at the same time advancing around the the far east and capturing some of these. Border territories. Genoa, what are you what are you thinking, Genoa? I don't like that, because there's nobody's territory <laughs> um east of <laughs> east of that position that they can invade, um, except my own. Hmm. Very tricky indeed. Oh well, I don't think it's going to matter. I think we've got enough troops to overwhelm them. So if Juno did come after us. Kira, I think I know what's causing this. I have Google Chrome open. Uh, one second, guys. Okay, there we go. Uh, right, so the only pop-up we had was... Oh, sorry, before I move on. Um, the garrison force at Venice could attack Genoa pretty easy. They, do you know it also owns Corsica? It's Savoy that owns Tripoli. So if need must, we could send troops, get the Tunis garrison um, up to um, Corsica. Let's recruit ships to do that, just in case. We could potentially attack Corsica and Genoa at the same time and obliterate this force. We haven't got to worry about really attacking them. It's not really a problem. Actually, this is one of their troops, one of their forces from the Americas. That's quite fun. Oh, it's a major nation of the United States. Again, I'm going to... Because we've got a lot of money, I'm going to offer another 5,000... Gold per turn deal to the US for 20 turns. Just because I'm really interested to see what a. If they can properly beat the 13 colonies, you know, what they look like is a late game. Um, it's a late game adversary. Yeah, a lot of upgrades we probably do. So. Start off on the interior, really. It's got a lot of farm upgrades we can get. Farm upgrades aren't, aren't typically the most 
important, but... Not compared to industry. Let's get the state capital here as well. Um, okay, let's read. Like so, this creates an interesting dynamic now. So this force is going to is going to stay gathering their strength. Three units they can recruit. But they like, can lose. Let's lose one unit of skirmishers. So you'll be fully recruited in two turns. This force is going to stay where it is, just in case this force decides to strike southwest. But this force is garrisoning Gdansk. Uh, siege Konigsberg. So the enemy is a bit stronger than us. Uh, we're a bit depleted, which isn't ideal. But we can we can deal with that as the time comes. Although I might actually pinch a couple of these units. And let's take this guy and top up some of the other armies. Some of the other units, rather. I should say. Go just to add a bit of extra mass. So you're gonna be yeah, you're gonna just gonna siege the city. Don't worry about attacking it, just siege it. Teach Russia what it means to wage war against us in such a treacherous and underhand way. So then at Warsaw, let's upgrade our military production. Because we're probably gonna need it. More troops gathering against well, we're pushing up towards this area, to the east of uh, central, east of Germany proper, really. Um, let's get more, get a real, get a real um, mix of different troops here, because really this is meant to be a reinforcing army rather than a battlefield army. So just get, pick a real mishmash of different troops. They're just meant to be somewhere we can rotate um, depleted units out, send fresh ones in. Let's get that repaired. There we go. Okay, 11,000 to the south. Right. So this army wants to go up into Oost. We've bumped into one of their units. We're going to start converting their population. Okay, that's good. Uh, right, we probably want to start. Well, what we want to do. You can probably stay where you are, really. But let's start clearing out some of these. Although you're all you're all quite depleted, so that's not really a fight. Let's just, just push them away and advance towards the enemy. We don't want to raid. We don't want to raid the enemy. Uh, we might get you though. Let's strike out to the west to the east sorry then hit you to force you back to the city <laughs> lots of cavalry and artillery yep let's hit you push them towards moscow just so they don't scamper into the uh, into the interior of our empire and cause us lots of problems so destroying them is preferable but if we can just annihilate them that's still pretty good Okay. My artillery is going to be doing most of counter battery. Uh, or is it? I might not be able to see it. My howitzers are going to be unloading, that's for sure. My foot artillery is probably going to have to be back here, really. 
We're going to be biased towards the high ground with my grenadiers, expats, yeah, expats and pikemen and my conscripts. They're going to secure the high ground itself with the bulk of our cavalry strength. They're gonna let us have it by the looks of it. Let's just get up high, get up to the high ground. Our artillery is already crashing in, so we haven't got to worry too much. It's already landed some really good blows. They appear to not want to really engage us. Let's get my general up onto the high ground. So I am advancing at speed. We don't want to get caught out. Some of the enemy artillery is coming back. Hussars, provincial cav, lots of weak cavalry. Oh, light horse charging. We're charging the second regiment of foot. Drop in the square. Drop the tenth in the square as well. Uh, bring my pikemen over here. Support that engagement. Let's bring. There goes another wave of artillery fire comes in. See that cavalry coming in. Provincial cavalry, they're not pressing home the attack. There's my general. Chase down that provincial cavalry, general. Pikemen are going to scythe through these hussars real quick. Chase them down. Okay, get you guys out of the way. Push forward. Let's get there. The rest of their force is caught in a bit of a, a bit of a crossfire. Howitzers drop some shells onto their infantry. Kill the enemy general. Yikes. This is always the kind of thing that happens. They route through your line and then suddenly become super brave and decide, hey, now we can do stuff. It looks like they want to go after my general. Well, this unit does. They could go for my artillery and screw me up, but... Apparently they're far too interested going after my pikemen. You know, go after the 12th regiment. I mean, the battle itself is effectively almost already won. Let's commit my cavalry in. Go kill the enemy. Oops, so that's everybody.
throw everyone in. Well, I mean everybody. Even the provincial cavalry is sticking around. Once my infantry swamp them, they should deal with them quite nicely. The pikemen are not going to get into the, the action in, with enough uh, enough time. Yeah, charge towards that grenadier guard unit. Teach them what what, it, what they should what they should really do when they run. The answer is not to come back. They're gonna ride through a bunch of their comrades. Bring the infantry in to back them up. speed up time now because those grenadiers are going to get mopped up okay you guys come back here and commit cool you men kill the grenadiers that's quite a good kill Although these guys are going to escape, but that's okay. Done pretty good. This force has been shattered. Oh no, there is a unit over here in the corner. Oh. You're not going to get him, but you had a damn good try. Killed a good few more. But yeah, well that's a force that's been annihilated and shoved. Uh, Westwood, yeah, rate of three to one, not bad. Could have been better, but yeah, that's a yeah, significant reduction Army in capability. Respected. New men replenish. Again, we're not worried about running straight to Moscow, especially if they're going to keep building things. We're going to want our agents to start working on the enemy priests. Excellent. Especially if they're going to start um, trying to convert the population to uh, Protestantism, because we want them to become Catholics. So let's get our missionary up to Moscow. So he's he's going to uh, actually he might be slowly outpacing Orthodox religion. Actually, eight and a, eight and a half thousand. Let's get an Iron Masters works. Let's get a couple of these. Industry upgrades for Crimea. Crimea is one turn away from being fully converted and they can push on to probably Archangels, maybe? Um, yeah, apart from that, things are looking pretty good. Signore. So you're replenishing quite nicely. You're a bit knackered, but not terrible. You've got some reasonable troops backing, up, backing you up. Okay. Cool. I don't think I can give can't give them technology because they don't currently have any way of researching things but yeah let's hope our steady influx of cash is going to uh, help them start to dominate the continent because I think once they start getting on a roll it's going to be Pretty hard to stop them. Yep, Spain is still a threat. We've got so many threats. Should also I should really keep building up my navy as well. So what are you gonna do, Prussia? Yeah? What are you gonna do? Yeah, just run troops around. I suspect Oh, I suspect wrong. They're coming right at us. 
only one large army, number of reinforcing components, but this is a very brittle army, lots of skirmishes. We're definitely going to take this as an opportunity to uh, damage a few troops. God damn right we're going to... Well, I mean, we can't... This is an inception. They've attacked us. Uh, yeah. This should be fine. Hold on the defense. And just... Just slaughter them. Um, these are the kind of opportunities we're after. Uh, really good opportunities to kill large numbers of Prussian troops. Uh, particularly on the defense. Because if anything does go wrong, um, we just have to survive for an hour. Rather than killing all of the enemy. So if they send in troop upon troop upon troop upon troop. Um, they just may not. We may not be able to kill them all within the time limit. If we're on the attack. But if we're on the defense. That's not necessarily true. Okay. So let's put three units of infantry down. Behind. Dates. Let's put a gun team in the line. Okay, it might not be three. It may be two. Pick another two. Then another gun team. units trenches so what okay so all of the troops that have not yet deployed you guys I want to be honest I think I probably just want for now, I don't know. I'm not don't not bothered about being particularly specific about it. Just dump stakes everywhere, and then you'll fall back to a new position behind my line. These two gun teams are going to be firing shrapnel shot. I'm going to have one gun team on the high ground to the rear. Maybe take these four and deploy them over here. These two just hold back. Everyone's opening up with quick climb. Initial volleys are okay. Probably want you to get the howitzers engaging the enemy. Okay, this gun team at the back can keep shooting their artillery. Don't worry about the puckle guns. Grenadier unit down. Line infantry unit down. Get my heavy cavalry on the right. If I can, well, ultimately, if I can, I'd like to get them all out here. I don't think I will. Dragoons, light cavalry, sharpshooters are charging us. Lots of them are going to hit stakes. Somewhere they're going to hit stakes. These ones on the flank, not so much. Pull you back. Okay, the howitzers just start quick climbing their infantry. It's gonna keep folks on their artillery. Men 
and start getting the troops that are advancing towards you. Get ready to commit some elite troops on this flank to push forward to attack the enemy skirmishers. To maybe pull a heavy cavalry unit over to that other flank. Getting some good pot shots against enemy guard corps. Their diamond is almost is going to clip our stake. Stakes, our stakes position. Just. Just going to clip the corner of it. So we don't know where their reinforcements are coming in from. Coming in on the left. We can deal with that. We've got a good presence over here. Bring my warband through the square. Okay, now the howitzers... Men run through. I want to keep my cavalry alive for now. No, I want to keep. Yeah, I want to keep my cavalry as is for now. I should say. Spread my general out on the high ground behind the tree. Can maybe push them in. Here comes the unit of dragoons. Hit them at point blank range with canister shot. Misses, they were just too close apparently. Keep killing them. Just keep attacking ground if the. Uh, Specific targeting isn't going to work. Okay, you men form up back into your line. Dragoons are gone. an effect on them. Actually, shrapnel shot the light of the tree. You men shrapnel the militia. Excellent. are always going to be cause problems for us because they are they just outrange us let's try attacking ground with the shrapnel shot just see if that works a bit better yeah I think it's more effective like that Okay, Hussars have just clipped the stakes, so they've lost a they lose a lot of horses, they're just about to clip another set. Oh, and they're gonna catch it on the way out too. Excellent. Let's maybe drop a few. Dude, we don't really need to worry about them. 
Is that cavalry in it? They just clipped a corner of it. Although they're definitely going for the 21st Regiment. Shrapnel shot, you can aim at the line infantry at the back. You're just slowly pulling the puffer guns back the way. The horse grenadier guards are advancing. They fancy their chances. Gun team up at the back, still keep pounding the 6th regiment. Don't let them gain a foothold. That's perfect, they're going straight for a stake. Now they've changed targets, but they're still going for a stake. They're serpentining through, but we're still going to get some of them. fired upon from multiple directions okay get ready for these gunners to abandon their guns there we go the cavalry have abandoned their attack and limber well my limbers have retreated Buckle guns have unlimbered. Good for them. Swiss Mountain Jaeger. Grassier, they're coming in, charging from the get go. Okay, let's just bring this right flank in. Let's get my. Foot artillery up here just to engage the puckle guns just in case they cause problems. I think they limbered up super fast as well. So we've lost about half of our militia. First regiment of foot. It's a brand new fresh unit. If you men land a good hit on those puckle guns, you'll take out an entire team. Just a bit short. Long. Nope, you're about to hit some stakes as well. Lancers. They're shattered. Back they go. Excellent. Lots of men are dying here to that. So those most basic technology of a pointy stick. Although, I suppose that's what a lot of the Napoleonic Wars really was. Men carrying pointy sticks that fired musket balls. Guys on horses with different variations of pointy sticks. Just dump in the square, they're not going to last. The Swiss Mountain Jaegers are engaging us at range. Artillery is bugged, so you may as well just get out of the way. If you can't contribute, you may as well leave. You men pop back behind cover, especially as there's cavalry steaming ring right towards us. So gendarmerie, ooh, large enemy position over here on the left. Excellent. Okay, so it appears I can re 
deploy some of my troops. Some of them will get redeployed in the center, especially as these guys are running low on ammo. Oh yes, thank you for that fine tuning. Howitzers, keep them opening up. To be fair, I can probably barrel my cavalry and do some really good work against them. Maybe get my howitzers to engage the enemy. I mean, those grenadiers are still a valid target. Heavy cavalry can engage the light infantry, although you're about to place stakes. Take out the infantry, then take out the puckle guns. Engage the grenadiers. You guys ran away yet? Nearly. Okay, let's, actually, let's not worry about the puckle guns yet. Grenadiers are broken. Militia, Prussian Grenadier Guard, more cavalry. That's, well, depending on if they've got any more reinforcements coming in, that could be an ideal, a viable target to gun my cavalry along here and sweep up a lot of these enemy troops. Don't want my general coming in. Cavalry unit. Okay, it does look like all of their troops. Let's gun my heavy cavalry up. Come on, cuirassier guards. Bring my Swiss Grenadiers down here, ready to replace them on station. Oh yes, they're coming right at us. Ah, uh, rats. Don't need howitzers. Let's commit the heavy cavalry. For the most part, it looks like the enemy reinforcements. Well, the enemies are done for. Okay, you men get out, make way for the grenadiers. You men make way for this unit, which is nearly out of ammo. Grenadiers get down here, hold the center. Push around the flank. Heavy cavalry attack the Prussian heavy cavalry. Heavy, oh, fully equipped infantry get involved. Demi cannons are going down. And my howitz is firing round shot to engage the puckle guns. See if I can improve the odds over here somewhat by bringing my 
general. The bear, although I'm pretty sure my artillery just fired on them. Push you men forward into the gap. Send my general in just to see if he can stop this cavalry unit from breaking and running. Stop shooting at those targets. My general may die. It's an elite heavy cavalry unit. But they did it to buy time to get my infantry in. To provide an extra bit of muscle for my heavy cavalry. through the stakes. Ah, oh, artillery's in a real number on the enemy skirmishes here. There we go. Ceasefire. Well, from the artillery, ceasefire. The rest of my guys it is open season. I suppose my artillery needs to. Okay, that actually, that unit actually managed to escape, so that's okay. My general and friends didn't manage to kill the enemy. Ultimately, it's going to be. Is it going to be viable to get these guys over here? Probably not. Yes. There we go. Kill the kill these grenadiers at least. Hey, you might actually make it. Nah, oh, just too late. Although, well, is it? Oh, yes, it is. Still, good defensive action. Lots of Prussian casualties. Just the way we like it. Really good ratio. So this army's quite badly depleted but this is why we have the reinforcement army there we go that's created some depleted russian units to depleted prussian units for them to deal with we're going to, need to start rotating our depleted units out of the front uh no we're not giving you any technology poland uh, i hate you Russia's killed that Polish stack off, which is nice. They're going to form a new garrison in the city. They're going to raid our trade lines, that's okay. Uh, oh, the garrison at Karlsberg is going to sally out and attack us. Yes, we are going to do that. Karlsberg will be very useful to capture. It will anchor our eastern front even more solidly than it was before. And this territory is isolated from the rest of their empire. So ultimately they were in... There's no incentive for this territory to maintain being under siege. They're not going to... They were never going to provide the support. Or they were never going to um, break the siege. And the longer they wait, the more depleted they become. So they didn't have much of a choice except march out. And we are effectively just going to form a line 
and allow them to march towards us. Don't, don't stay limbered up, but there we go. Deploy the artillery. Just, just pound the bejesus out of them. Crusier guards. They they took being fired upon very badly. Charging straight in. Generals out wide. Here they come. A lot of overlapping field of fire here. Artillery slamming home. I was going to say, I'd be surprised if we made it into our lines. And there we go. Just, just engage. Run the fire from artillery from inside the fort. That's okay. For now, lots of their infantry. I mean, if they're just gonna... Oh my god, I picked the wrong time to uh, <laughs> speed up time. Yeah, they are pretty devastated. Okay, let's focus all our fire onto the Royal Caressier Guard for a second. What are the chances you can trap my shot? No, no, no luck at all. If my fire artillery engages, I'll get some really good hits. Multiple cavalrymen will, will fall. Guns firing. Alex is fire. Good hits. 22 guardsmen. Oh, a lot more. Excellent quick climb hits. Not really worried about the hussars. These troops, <laughs> these troops have advanced to just within range. Oh, they didn't like that. They've risked the offensive. They've risked the maneuver. But it was an appalling maneuver. Okay, artillery. Time to advance. The enemy wants to be stupid. And we will push. Switch my howitzers to round shot. Just actually, you, no, you can engage. You're closer. Uh, my artillery is just going to make a breach in the enemy walls, just so they don't have a safe haven to operate from. Hello, we've found some enemy skirmishers. How quaint! And how dead! Push right up to them. Just keep my pikemen on the right flank because they're the most vulnerable. Just 
Okay, howitzers to start blasting them with quicklime because the enemy have quite plainly outlined the desire to <laughs> be a bit silly, give up a lot of position. Because who are you? Militia. There we go. Already a couple of units of volley fire. The depleted units are already broken and scattering uh, back. Keep. I'm going to let these units engage the guerrilla mercenaries just to see if they can break, if they can shatter them. Howitzers re-engage. All my artillery actually just focus on the. Don't focus on the focus on the breach. Focus on hammering shots in. Right here, because they're about to. They're trying to. They're going to try and push their cavalry in for, through that gap. It's their master plan. Advance on the right. Don't give them an opportunity to be safe. They're actually putting the position in the guns. Just, I mean, that's danger close artillery from my perspective, I get that, but just getting them hit attacking ground here. Okay, let's get a union of light and tree. Well, you can hold here, don't worry about it. You men scale the walls. Don't worry about the breach. Oh, the enemy cavalry charged out here as well. You men scale the walls, you men defend the breach, you men scale these walls. Friendly fire, switch howitzers to round shot, engage the ex infantry that is still standing up to us. The provincial line are incredibly weak right now. Put artillery, cease fire. into that melee cavalry unit. There you go. Now you men bayonet charge through the gate. Attack the enemy artillery. You mingle over here just in case they actually what might not be a bad idea is some attack ground quicklime right here into this combat. My apologies, 103rd. Keep them pinned. They're wavering as well. It backfired. Well, worth a shot. Switch to round shot, cease fire. The guns are secure. Well, actually, I'm able to run the cavalry. Run the cavalry away. You men form up. Both artillery engage the militia.
Enemy general general was behind our lines for a moment there. There we go. The infantry, when they've reloaded, they'll make the eight regiment retreat. Hussar's just going to watch. They've changed targets. So mental decisions like my decision to quick line my own guys, I can kind of get away with it because we don't have any enemy troops really nearby us to worry about. Get my cavalry over to attack their general bodyguard. And then this action will be the last action. There we go. Just to get rid of that general's unit. There we go. Very nice indeed. So that is the garrison at Königsberg. Very badly beat up. They've only got 500 men remaining. Ooh, they're marching an army south of from Komi. The 13 colonies are sending only one unit south to support their war against the United States. Denmark, Pueblo Nations, Genoa. They're going to bolster the fleet. Don't try it, Genoa. Ultimately, I may have to uh, execute Order 66 on them anyway, although they aren't my... Are they my ally? Got, got a new rake. Ooh, bit of a drop here. Come on. Go. Get this rake on a long walk up to St. Petersburg. Lots of good traits gained. Mr. Balbus gained for a good defender. So we've got rockets, that's great, and they've gone straight on with percussion shells. They're kind of a bit... percussion shells are a bit pants. I mean, they don't have the... Quick Climb's got the rapid fire. Um, Quick Climb's got rapid fire. Uh, round... Uh, no, sorry. Round Shot has the rapid fire. Quick Climb has a, a huge area of effect capability, which is super. But shrapnel shot seems a bit unpredictable. Okay, Prague. Yeah, we've got some farmlands to upgrade. Uh, don't upgrade you, because you're right on the frontier. Same with you. Church school, let's get you built. Let's upgrade the craft workshop. Mighty Naples farmland is growing. There you go, keep the church school going. Okay, again, we don't want to upgrade anything too near the frontier, especially those territories that could be attacked by Spain pretty rapidly. Okay, so let's get you guys together. So you... Okay, let's send, let's combine some of these really elite units together to maintain some of their veterancy. There we go, got you up to, to be maxed out. Hey, you combine with that unit. Signore. Bring two Avanti. units up. Great. Okay, let's pull this unit of heavy cavalry out. Place it with another unit, a fresh unit of heavy cavalry. Your troops are pretty good as far as as far as uh, reinforcements are concerned. You. Okay, so we've now officially got both the bridges covered. 
This army, I mean, I think I don't want to don't want to beat about the bush. Just get more line infantry. So that's quite quite big there. Do they have any really good generals? They got one general here who's kind of good. Well, no, he's not kind of good. He's Arthur Strub is a very basic general. Lots of people just captains. Certainly not up to the same standard as our officers. Okay, so because they are... We're on their borders. Let's try sabotage. Tricky. Well, let's try it. Try sabotage their barracks. Now he's been spotted. Recruitment report. Oh, come on. There we go. More troops for this force. You've got one more unit on the way. Upgrade the infrastructure. coming from Vienna. Good. Then you'll be in a position to advance against Poland should they get up to any mischief. Get my agent towards Minsk. Okay, you're replenishing, but you can probably stand to attack Edvard Kronstrom. You're just going to replenish on the road to Moscow. You're not going to attack them. You're just going to sit there. Um, yeah, you're going to push up towards Komi. In good order. Upgrade the fur exchange. Okay, you're now 100% Catholic. Odessa is going to grow in three turns. Let's push you up to Moscow as well. Let's keep laying the groundwork for that future... Well, for our uh, capture of that territory. Let's upgrade Ukraine. Okay, let's get some walls and upgrade the military production in case you want to boost this army to push into Minsk from the east. And then Mr. Belbus, you can replenish and, well, you may as well affect... Well, no, don't, don't attack because you've got no money to fix it. If you do take it. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, everything's looking pretty good. This frontier is a bit dicey. I get that. Um, that's why I've got this force in the middle. Their objective is to try and be, a, be in a position to uh, replenish or support both, both armies. That would be the objective. In attesa di ordine. Signore... Uh, I might pull the Swiss Grenadiers out. Replace them with Swiss line. It's not the same thing, but it's still a kind of ex kind of exotic unit. Uh, yeah, that's great. So now we've got control of both the river crossings. So if they march too far east, we should be able to lure them into river battles and slaughter them as they attempt to cross the river. That could work quite well. Um, but, looking at the timer, I believe... Actually, let's check. We are not allied with Genoa. So if we move on Genoa... First of all, let's see if they attack us. Let's not let's not be the, the mean people for once. Let's send my light guy to reconnoiter Bastia. In attesa di altri ordini. I mean, I imagine if I land on it, I can probably attack it in one turn. Although, I could save a lot of hassle by just taking them out now. Because if they attack me, they can definitely attack Istanbul within one turn. So let's... Yeah, you know what? Let's just, let's just get it out of the way. Genoa. Nation. See, we're, we're very friendly, though. They like us. Okay, 
Hmm. Hmm. Well, we can pull this army back if we need to take the, take the city again. I am interested in doing a test. So, every instinct I have from playing this game for a very long time tells me I should kill them. The AI does this when they're going to kill you. But every metric I can see, they should really like us. Because they are plus 179. I mean, they really don't like our military expansion. But they really like our trade agreement and they really like our military alliance. They don't respect our leaders. Actually, let's check. I mean, everyone's, everyone's four-star. That's all you can really expect. Can't really deal with you. That's kind of a bummer, but eh. Uh, yeah, so we're going to see what they do. If they attack us, they can, they can take Istanbul. They won't demolish anything. We can redeploy this army for Myasi quite quickly to re-attack the city. That's fine. Um, I'm not really... I mean, if they, if, they, if they declare war on us and don't attack the city, we can destroy both. We can take their cities out, no problem. Um, but yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit, I'm going to end the episode here, and then next turn, or next episode, uh, we'll see what happens. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the continuing, continuing adventures of Venice. Cheers, everyone.